Market Pulse consists of multiple widgets. Each widget contains a unique algorithm and displays events that are generated by different sources. In this video, we're going to talk about the volume pressure and volume pressure imbalance algos. They allow you to see and hear the buying and selling pressure of market transactions by aggressors. Let's take a look at the volume pressure algo. Volume pressure is based on the trading volume over a time period. It shows here the current sellers and buyers pressure, or in other words, the sell and buy volume percentage. The white line indicates the threshold you set. When it is passed, you'll see the bar filled past the white line. A colored line on the subchart also shows the threshold was reached. You will also hear the volume pressure reach the threshold. The frequency of the played sounds depends on the value above threshold. The higher the threshold crossing value, the more frequently the sound is played. If you prefer text alerts, you can go to File, then Alerts, and you'll see all the alerts triggered on one chart. Let's take a look at the volume pressure imbalance algo. Volume pressure imbalance measures the difference between the total buyers and sellers volume pressures in the market. Or in other words, it shows the buy volume percentage minus the sell volume percentage. The white line indicates the threshold you set. This is also shown in the subchart. The volume pressure and volume pressure imbalance algos can be very helpful in understanding aggressor behavior and using this information for your advantage. To access these algos for futures or stocks, you need to have Market Pulse Futures and Stocks Algos Bundle or the MBO Bundle. For Cedro, you need to have the Cedro Pro Package. And for Crypto, you need to have the Market Pulse Crypto Algos Bundle. Click the links in the description for purchasing the packages. After purchasing, go to Settings, then Manage Plugins and Bookmap Add-ons. Scroll down to Market Pulse and install it. To activate the add-on, go to Configure Add-ons and check the box for Market Pulse. Click on Create, choose the algo, and select one or more instruments you want this algo to work on. For now, I'll select ES and click Play. We'll go quickly over the main settings. Here, you can set the threshold and control or mute the volume of the alerts. The threshold slider defines the minimum percentage threshold for a sound to be played. The higher it's set, the fewer sound notifications that will be played. For more advanced settings, right-click on the widget, then Settings. The running widget will show the data on the subchart from when it started working to the current moment. If you'd like to have it calculate historical data, you can set it here. You can set the half-life period and training period. Let's explain what those are and then give an example. The training period is a sliding time frame that the algo is using to derive its data from. For example, if you set the parameter to 5 minutes, the algo will always use the time period between now and 5 minutes ago as its data source. Increase the training period parameter if there are too many spikes for you on the subchart, as a longer interval should smoothen the chart out. The half-life period also defines a time frame. This time, it sets a time interval that will cut the traded volume by half. Let's give an example. Let's say that a thousand lots were traded. After five seconds, the chart will show 500 lots, and in another five seconds, 250, and so on. The higher the half-life parameter is set, the longer the decay time and the bigger impact of previous events. Changing the half-life period will restart calculations based on historical data and the new half-life input. This might take a while. That is why you will need to press the apply button after setting the half-life period. If you'd like to change audio sounds, you can do it also from here. You can even differentiate between sounds from sellers and buyers. Try to play with the settings and see what fits your trading best.